Hey guys, Zachy here again with the second video for today. And uh, today, we're, well, this video, we're going to be going after some rare fish for uh, around here, Corpus, and specifically Pompano. And these fish are pretty rare around Corpus Christi. I don't really hear very many other people catching them. There's some other guys like Thresher Fishing. If you've ever seen some of his videos, he's been catching a couple of those. But they're not very uh, common around here. And we were catching some good ones, so I'll show you all the footage. And there's also some uh, mystery fish up in there as well, and another just big non-species, so uh, well, non-target species. And I guess I'll catch y'all at the very end. Dude, we got one! Ah! Yes. Dude! Oh, dude. Got two. It's a ladyfish, dude. Yeah. That's a palm, dude. That's a big That was the close rod, too. Shoot. Another good looking pot, bro. You sure? A shark? Yeah, it is. That thing's at least three pounds. We might as well just measure it. It's the biggest fish today, at least. A goo monster. He's got a big, big head on him. Four twelve. That is a big catfish for today. Apparently they're breeding right now, so I'm gonna let him go back to doing his thing. I got one, Chad. Looks like a good one. Oh, is that a turtle? Oh, I got a stingray, dude! Whoa! Oh my gosh, I got a stingray. Should I set it down? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got a good one on there. I've cut it right at the base. You see it? No, he does. Yeah. Go up a little bit. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. All right, so gear reviews gonna be same story pretty much because uh, I don't have the actual physical gear with me here to re re review over for y'all. But I do know uh, for all these fish we're using shrimp to catch them. Um, and actually, the big catfish was caught on, I believe cut up whiting. 
either cut up whiting or um, ladyfish. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. And like we, that big catfish, we didn't even know it was that that was on even the end of the line. We, I mean, we had cracked that line out far away, and we were just reeling. It's like dead weight the entire time. And uh, that's got to be my personal best um, gaff top catfish. We actually thought it was a shark at first when we brought it up on the beach, but it turned out to be a big old uh, slimy catfish. But that's you know that happens sometimes. Uh, cool fish to catch, and uh, I'm not sure I'm not really sure if I'm hoping to catch more in the future. But you know stuff happens. And uh, there was also that stingray, which was my first stingray I've ever caught. Um, I was we actually just go after sheephead, and I just had felt that thing thump it and then start taking it. And then I set the hook into him, like, oh my god, oh my god. Because that thing was running drag like a, you know, bat out of hell. And it was just going and going and going. It did not want to be caught by us. But we pulled that thing in. Uh, ended up using it for bait since it was what we thought was a legal size. Because I don't think there's actually a size limit on those ones. Um, I think it was a southern stingray. And I looked up and there's no, you know, actual measurement regulations for us to, you know, keep it. So we kept that thing, used it for shark bait didn't actually turn out being any good shark bait for us unfortunately but you know that, that kind of thing happens and sharks aren't the easiest thing to catch so um, I made my peace with that and uh, overall it was a really good time fishing for these uh, pompano that we caught like my friend had caught one first and he caught that and a whiting of the same same uh, you know two baits and then I caught a I think it was a 16 or 16 and a half inch one and then a couple other ones um, so that was a lot of fun uh, heck of a time out fishing salt water and uh, look forward to more actual bass fishing videos next week with tournament footage I'll catch y'all later